Hi, I'm Jake. I'm recording this video at night, so let's just pretend that this video is just our happy little secret. Well, that came out creepy when I whisper. Okay, it's just ridiculous. I'm going to speak with my normal voice. Also, tell me in the comments, should I speak like this? Or should I talk like a chill normal human being like this? I'm curious. So let's create a new composition. Select footage and go to animation, track motion. Then move tracker to our hand. Tracking is done. Now let's create a null object. Click on edit target, choose null object and click OK. Then go to layer, new, solid. I'll name it element, because this plugin we will use. Drag element plugin onto our layer and click on scene setup. Then click on import. Link to this free 3D model will be in description to this video. Then choose material and go to diffuse channel. And here we will load the texture which comes with 3D model. It may not work right away, just click OK and re-enter scene setup. Now let's load our environment. I'm using just a simple still frame from my video. Ok, now my voice sounds like I'm sad. Click OK. Now we have illumination of our model. Also go to advanced smoothing and play with this value. Then apply curves and tint effect to color correct it. Tint I'll set to 15 and just play with RGB curve to match your scene better. Then in element open world transform and click create. With this null we will animate our shield. I'll name stuff to remember which null is which. Then select both of them and press P for position on your keyboard. Just copy values of your tracking manually like this, X to X and Y to Y. Do not copy all keyframes. Also, you can press S to change scale of our shield. I'll set to 250. Let's set opacity of layer with element plugin to 50. Set hand track null as a 3D layer, then parent other null to it using PickWeb. Then select our null and press R, hold Shift and press P to see rotation and position. Skip few frames and set keyframes to orientation and to Y rotation. Now you can animate by hand movement of our shield to follow your hand. And finally you can animate position to make shield fly at camera by changing value of position in Z space. Also animate rotation in Z axis to give more believable look. Then just duplicate your video footage and place it above. And using pen tool or rotor brush, rotor scope yourself on top. I've used mask using pen tool and then just animated mask frame by frame to follow my hand. Then select all layer and go to layer precompose and add some curves to final color grading. In comment section below leave a request of what effect should I do next. Leave a like, subscribe and please consider to support me on Patreon. Link is in description. Thank you.